come back. Um, in this lecture, I want to derive uh, an important identity, which is called Cassini's identity. Um, the easiest way to derive this identity is making use of the Fibonacci Q matrix, which we uh, talked about in the last lecture. So um, let's recall what the Q matrix is. So the Q matrix was this uh, two by two matrix that had elements uh, one, one in the first row and one, zero in the second row, right? And the um, interesting uh, derivation we did of the Q matrix was seeing what it looks like when you raise it to the nth power, right? This was uh, the Fibonacci number to the n plus 1, the n plus 1 Fibonacci number, the nth Fibonacci number, the nth Fibonacci number, and the n minus 1 Fibonacci number. Okay? So we had these two uh, results. One is just a definition of the Q matrix, and the other is the result that the Q matrix raised to the nth power is related to these uh, Fibonacci numbers, okay? So from uh, matrix algebra, we have something called the determinant. Remember that the determinant of a matrix, so here the matrix, let's say, is Q. The determinant of this matrix Q, you, for two by two matrix, it's very simple, right? You take this one and multiply it against zero, and you subtract this one multiplied against one. So it's the product of the diagonal elements minus the product of the off-diagonal elements. So it's zero minus one. So the determinant of Q is minus one, okay? Then there's another uh, result in determinants. So that's a, a general result. So if you have two matrices A and B, Okay, and you want to know what the determinant of A times B is. So A and B are n by n matrices. Here, we only need to worry about two by two matrices. So this is a general theorem. That the determinant of the product of two matrices is the product of the determinants. So this is determinant of A times determinant of B, okay? So if you've had uh, linear algebra, you've had some matrix algebra, and you learn determinants, then this will be familiar to you, even though you may not remember it exactly. You, you should know what I'm talking about. If you haven't had matrix algebra, then uh, you can review the basics uh, in the notes for uh, two by two matrices. That's all we need here. OK? So don't worry. Um, but let's say we, we know these results. So how can we apply these to the Fibonacci Q matrix to obtain uh, an interesting identity? Well, let's, let's look at this. If we look at the um, determinant of the Q matrix raised to the nth power, right? We can use this uh, previous result as uh, writing this as the determinant of Q times Q to the n minus 1 power, right? And then split it up. So this is determinant of Q times determinant of Q to the n minus 1, right? And you see, you can keep doing this, right? You can keep doing this. So you can pull out another Q and get Q to the n minus 2. You can pull out another Q and get Q to the n minus 3, etc. So that this thing will go all the way down to determinant of Q raised to the nth power. Okay? So the determinant of the matrix Q to the n is equal to the determinant of the matrix Q raised to the nth power. Okay. That's the result that we're going to use on the Fibonacci Q matrix. So let's see that. Right. So we remember 
we have our Q, which is 1, 1, 1, 0. And we have our Q to the N, which are these Fibonacci numbers, F n plus 1, Fn, Fn, Fn minus 1, right? And the determinant of Q to the n, right, determinant of Q to the nth power is Fn plus 1 times Fn minus 1, right? We multiply the diagonal elements minus Fn squared. We multiply the off-diagonal elements. So the determinant of this q to the n is equal to the determinant of q raised to the nth power, right? The determinant of q is minus 1, so this is equal to minus 1 raised to the nth power, okay? So fn plus 1 times fn minus 1 minus fn squared is minus 1 to the nth power. That's called Cassini's identity, okay? Cassini's identity. So let's see how this actually works. Let's try some numbers. Let's write down some Fibonacci numbers. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Um, that's enough. Let's look at one of these, right? Let's start with uh, 3. So Fn plus 1 would say 5. Fn minus 1 is 2, right? So 5 times 2 minus 3 squared is 10 minus 9, right? 10 minus 9 is 1, OK? That corresponds to 1, 2, 3, 4, the fourth Fibonacci number. So n equals 4. So minus 1 to the fourth is 1, right? Let's look at the next one. So n equals 5. So we've got 8 fn plus 1 times 3 fn minus 1, right? Minus 5 squared. What is that? 24 minus 25, right? So that's minus 1. Very nice. So this is uh, Cassini's identity. It tells you that um, the product of, of uh, two Fibonacci numbers separated by one minus the square of the one in the middle is going to be either plus or minus one. Okay? So Cassini's identity is very, uh, will provide for us a very amusing sort of mathematical trick, which I'll show you in the next lecture. Okay? See you then.